back, you will not pull with the right hand. If it's 70, 80%, you're gonna do this first. So let me see what's cooking and we'll take it from there. All right? Well, I actually forgot his back hand. Take it back to the outside. Show me. Now, I don't, come here. I don't know if I mentioned before. His hands look like they're apart. I mean, did I talk about that? His grip? Go ahead. Go ahead and prepare. Come here. Did you hear what I just called your dad? Mm -hmm. Go ahead and prepare. I'll hear this one. Go ahead. Prepare. See this? See that separation? Mm -hmm. Watch. Okay. He should be touching. Does that make sense? Because if not, I know it sounds weird, but he probably is about an inch, inch and a half shorter racket. You know, whatever size the racket is, it's, an inch. it's like me playing like this. I mean, that's... Does that make sense? Now, go ahead and prepare. Now, let me explain. Great. This is where there was some confusion. See where his racket is? It has to be right there. See how, see how far back it is? That makes that turn more. The hands are around the waist, but we can't have this. This is where you got confused. And I don't know if the coach at home understands. You don't want it straight. Obviously, you don't want it like that. Okay? So there has to be a bend. See? The whole key is this. If it's bent, here's what happens biomechanically. Remember what I told you? This is straight. That is bent. Racket head above the hands to the outside. Hands around the pelvis, the waist area. Now watch, what he's doing, what you're doing is this. You got the racket about right here, and it's pretty close to your body too. I want it not as far away as you can, but almost far away. I want him to see space. See, it doesn't look like it. But see my elbow position? He's like this. Now the problem, if you're like this, the racket's not gonna flip. He's not gonna do the stroke like I want you to. You're basically gonna do a two-handed backhand, just rotating your body. See, the whole purpose is I gotta make the racket flip, like the racket flips on your forehand all the time, because he's to the outside. On the backhand, on the two-handed backhand, if you wanna do it this way, Fish, Nadal, Djokovic, Agassi, Safin, Murray, all these guys, they're to the outside, there's a bend. He put his arms right now, it's kinda like rotting. Now it's all gonna be, ugh, it's gonna look like you're trying to get power. See how it's gonna power. This is like a slingshot button. Like pull it, the racket's gonna flip. Watch what happens, look. The racket goes like this. See, it's like, why is it punching? Why is it punching? Okay, the arm's gonna go faster like that than it is like this. Does that make sense? So, when you go to do this, you gotta have a little bend. Now probably what happened is if he put his elbow like too high or something, Someone went, whoa, what's that? Right. But at least, at least it was probably making you make the rack head go faster. Show me what you think I want. Right here, right here. This is important. See, the, how you take a bat, and by the way, this is all on tennisplayer.net. I don't know if you get that or you heard about it or whatever. I did the whole thing. So A to Z, for and back, and serve everything. Okay. It's like, if you get it live in color, go ahead and prepare. Turn. freak out or something yeah they, well, they like well you don't want to do that nobody could really yeah yeah see the whole purpose see if you just think of it if this is bent now when he pulls it it can straighten and that creates torque or that creates like motion does that make sense see so when you pull it when you pull it with the right hand when you pull it then you want the racket to flip pull yeah and see the racket goes like this when you pull it it goes see how see the racket that's the flip now watch I flip now watch my left elbow, watch. So if I'm like this, okay, even though it's short and whatever, you're gonna go, that's what your backhand looks like. See, I want you to make the rack head flip. And the only way it's gonna flip is have a little bend, show me. Pull it. Yeah, see, so you can just feel this one. Here, if it's to the outside and he pulls it, watch. See how that, see how the racket just went, watch. See how the racket went like that? That's what we want to get. The whole key, the whole key, buddy, is to 
have it all the way back. Thanks, Ben. Ready? Lock it in, buddy. Lock it in. Ready? Back up with it. He even stands inside. I know. Listen. I, we I need love to work. We need I to work really on have it. To do that than behind the fence. Listen. You're not chicken. You're not afraid. You got good courage. I don't know if you knew where you're at or you just want to take it early or whatever. Just kidding. And I'm sure if I saw you play a match, I'd probably say, "Listen, we gotta have a conversation here." Again. Widen your base. Why? Don't focus on this. Don't focus on this guy. Focus on how far you can get it away from your body, how far it's away from your body, how far back it is, and a little bend. Just a little bend in the left elbow. So, that'd be too far. That'd be okay. It's back far. I can't go any further. And a little bend. Because I want you to feel relaxed. Show me. Bang. Better. And the head's gonna pop. So here it is in a nutshell. It's all the way back. So the first movement is he pulls. Then the racket goes on its own because it's gonna go back in. So the pull, the flip, straight because it's gonna go straight and then the finish. So that's why you gotta have it bent. Does that make sense? Get it away from your body. strings that way to the outside all the way back and see that's another way for you to find see his hands his hands are yeah i know his hands are that's apart. another way you can find that it's really optimal okay because look if i don't look if i have it here i don't have it all the way back now watch if i get all the way back where it should be look how my strings are going to be that way instead if he doesn't he'll go he'll, and that's almost like a lefty forehand that's a whole different animal Brian is more, he's working on trying to get him smooth, and you know, Brian. that's the coach. Okay. So I'm, I'm just trying that's to get it saying. back. That's, that's where we're broken. Saying. Yeah. Yeah, see, but I, listen, I want him smooth too. Look, I look smooth, but my racket's going faster. Right. See, this might look smooth too. Sure. That's kind of what I don't want him to do. So get a little bend there, get it way out to the outside. Come on. Just pull it back even more. Right there. Now, hands lower. That right there. Now just pull and Hands flip. The pull, flip. Keep going. Ready? Find that position. Find that position. Now pull. Great. Again. Find the position and lock it. Good. Get a little bit more away from your body. Nice. Again. Good athlete. Now, this has nothing to do with your stroke. Once again, because everything, I want you to take the ball on the rise, obviously, but you might have to back up a little bit, get your weight to go more forward into the shot. So I just see that you're getting jammed too easily. Does that make sense? But that's the very good mechanics. Much better with the left elbow. Again, lock it in. It should be locked in right there. Atta boy. And pull hard with the right hand. Get your weight to go look. See how my weight's on that back foot, and I'm going to transfer. It's very basic stuff, usually. I want to see your feet apart on that two in the back. Here. Make sure those feet are apart. Lock it in. Again. Try to attack the ball with your front foot. What I mean by that is step in and pull with the right. I like the stroke. I really like what you're doing. But I'm a little concerned that your weight transfer is not really dynamic enough. If you have enough time, try to step in. Like that. So, 
I guess what I'm saying is you want to hit on the rise, you want to get your weight forward, I'm giving you the green light a little bit. Just do the dirty work here. Get it? Yeah, get that thing prepared. See, it should be like this. Loaded, lock. Loaded, lock. It's locked. Pull, flip. Pull the flip, straighten, boom. And these strokes are tailor-made to take the ball on the rise when the balls come quicker and faster. And trust me, that's what's coming. That's what's coming. Here we go, ready? Good. See, it's actually easier if I hit it harder. I'm sorry. Again, it's actually easier. Come on, rip it. No, it should be going forward, your racket, when it, when it comes off the board. It should be going. What? See, it should be, when it's coming off, it should be like, see how the ball's coming off the board? My racket's going like that. You don't want it to be going like that. Does that make sense? Because it's all the way back. It's all the way back. Just pull, like that. Have it locked in back there. Lock it in. Now pull. Awesome. Lock it in. Now pull it forward. Don't go back. Ready? And you'll feel a need to go back if you don't have this position. I can't stress that enough. you got to get that thing locked. You should have the best preparation ever if you want to do this. You look at Djokovic. The ball's coming. He's like, just, he's like this. The ball's not even over the net. Well, it's over the net. It's not at the service line. Lock it. Yeah, see, that's awesome preparation. But now I go back to what I said about this. And it looked like he just wanted to do it like this instead of being athletic, really loading and getting his weight in the ball. That makes sense? Because you got great hands, but there's something else I need you to focus on other than the mechanics. You got to really have a great weight transfer, get from your load on the back leg and get to the front leg. You're doing better though with the stroke. Good try. Now, do you think that was your stroke or your feet? I tell you, I would do so much footwork drill. Did we do the pocket drill where I ran you all over the place? We haven't really done any footwork. Okay. So I'd like to do a drill. Today we need I need like more than one. Yeah, so I, I got something that would really help because his stroke looked good the way he set up. And the ball, he's too good a player to keep misjudging the ball. Especially out of the basket. I mean, if a guy's hitting heavy toss, been flat slice, I can see where you're like, you're going to be the human improviser out here. Okay. The contortionist. You're going to be bending new shots everywhere. Ready? Lock it in. Pull. I love that. So it comes to you. Take it right off the bounce. Again, adjust your feet. Lock in the prep. I want more away. Another uh, three inches away from the body. There you go. Very good. Lock it, lock it, pull. Nice try. Not bad. Tough one. Good. Didn't you, didn't you feel like when I hit that shot, didn't you feel that was like a struggle for yeah. him to go back and get organized real quick? Right. And I'm sure you see that in the match. A lot, right here, a lot. Where he's like, and I'm just saying, he had, he's, he's very quick and fast. He has, he has fast twitch muscle. And I don't know, there's something going on. But he was he was trained like um, his first pro just hit just beaners at him for like a year. And so he was always just going straight to the ball, straight to the ball, straight to the ball. And we talked about that. We, we need to get him set and in. And I just need drills to try to get that mindset. The first thing you do because the ball's coming at you is not to go at it. It's to set yeah. and then go. Absolutely. And I, uh, that's, well, that explains why you got this little issue. I love it. Love it. Love it. Great technique. Grab a quick drink. I want to do a footwork drill with you, okay? And then I want to get into this serve a little bit. But listen, backhand, <laughs> well, he has it on tape. You got to, listen, there has to be a bend in the elbow. Maybe you overcooked something or you had it too high or something and everybody freaked out. But you got to have it away. I would like you to just take a look at Djokovic have you, or Agassi. Just look at the setup of the arms and the distance between the, the arms and the body, okay? That's just look at the setup. The rest you understand about the pull, and if you set up right, the racket's gonna flip and straight. But I'd like him to get a visual of that. And that's easy to do, just joke a bit, slow motion backhand, and just see how he set up, or fish. Same thing, 
Saffin. You'll see all, they're all the same. Nobody hits a goods like that. Now, when they hit it, there might be some that are almost like straight, okay, like this. The arm's gonna be straight, but not starting the stroke straight. The only guy I ever knew that had did something like that was Connors, and he hit the ball a little differently. It was more of a like a flat type of shot.